Management and Decisional System Demand Side Management Concept In this video, we'll talk about demand side management concept, objectives and approaches. At the end of this module, you will be able to understand what is demand side management, why it is important, what are the benefits of demand side management, what are the objectives of demand side management, what are the programs of demand side management, Every day, customers from different areas such as industrial, commercial and residential need electrical energy for production, business and households. Despite increased efficiency of electric devices, electricity consumption is steadily rising up. Demand of electrical energy also varies over a day. It goes up and down and reaches its peak value. For example, in an office area, usually low consumption is observed from 6pm to 6am. However, during working hours the demand on energy reaches its peak. Variation in demand can be observed not only over the days of the week, such as working days and weekends, but also according to seasons, weather conditions, geographic location, people's lifestyle and special occasions such as public holidays and festivals. New technologies like electrical cars can also change the demand pattern. In order to fulfill the demand of electrical energy, power plants have to increase energy generation, which in turn leads to an increase of load on power stations, an increase on the price of electrical energy and a negative impact on the environment. In order to solve these problems and to provide reliable and affordable energy to consumers, demand-side management concept has been introduced. Demand-side management, also referred to as DSM, programs consist of the planning, implementing and monitoring activities of electric utilities that are designed to encourage consumers to modify their level and pattern of electricity usage and to mitigate the peak load demand, instead of enlarging the generation capacity or reinforcing the transmission and distribution network. If consumers are able to regulate their use of home appliances, especially at peak times, there will be three-dimensional savings from such action. Firstly, there will be financial savings for the individual consumers without trading off their comfort. Secondly, there will be energy and financial savings for the utility providers. Lastly, there will be environmental savings as lesser greenhouse gas emissions will be generated from Pika plants. The DSM concept involves a partnership between the supply side and the demand side, seeking common ground to maximize mutual benefit. DSM is applied to the demand side to influence or directly modify the power profiles of electricity consumers such as residential, industrial and commercial. Demand side management addresses all basic load shape objectives such as peak clipping, valley filling, load shifting, strategic conservation, strategic load growth and flexible load shape. DSM consists of three types of activities, demand response, energy efficiency and energy conservation. All three types of activities are complementary and relevant for saving energy and implementing adequate energy management programs within an electricity liberalized market. Demand response, or DR, can be defined as the changes in electric usage by end-use customers from their normal consumption patterns in response to changes in the price of electricity over time. There are distinctive programs to implement demand response. There is the Incentive-Based Programs, or IBP, which includes classical and market-based programs. In classical programs, customers receive participation payments, usually as a bill credit or discount rate for their participation in the programs. In market-based programs, participants are rewarded money for their performance. There is also the Price-Based Programs, PBP that consists of dynamic pricing rates in which electricity tariffs are not flat, so the rates are fluctuating following the real-time cost of electricity. Energy efficiency is a term that refers to the permanent installation of energy-efficient technologies or the elimination of energy losses in existing systems. 
The implementation of energy efficiency programs can decrease demands during on-peak times and average power system costs as well as postpones the need to expand power system capacity. Some examples of energy efficiency programs include replacing incandescent light bulbs with compact fluorescent bulbs, the use of automatic thermostats, Energy conservation involves using less of a resource, usually by making a behavioural choice or change. The change may last for a short duration or maybe be incorporated into a habit or lifestyle. Some examples are lowering the thermostat temperature or fully loading a washing machine. In order to encourage consumers to modify their level and pattern of electricity usage, and mitigate the peak load demand, demand side management concept has been introduced. DSM addresses all basic load shape objectives, such as peak clipping, valley filling, load shifting, strategic conservation, strategic load growth, and flexible load shape. In order to successfully reach the objectives, three DSM programs are applied. Demand response, incentive and price-based programs, energy efficiency with use of energy efficient technologies and elimination of energy losses and energy conservation incorporate a new habit or lifestyle and energy saving devices thanks for watching